Hello guys, this is Rich of Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if you all start the devotional guys, you like to shout out to the personal channel na nagpunta rito at nanood at nag-join sa devotional. Shout out and God bless to Jamaica Daing, Case Arbina, Kimili Toras, Friends Yandog, Crisel Joy Balbino, Ben Lawrence Chonko, Nathaniel Abilia, Mikaela Lazaro, Kirby Imba, Arnil May Rujas, Kyle Dawajas, Stain Dimalig, Alaya Bonani, Hanila, Francis Laiko, Shen Gamba, Michael Aburita, Yans TV, Connie Blog, Heart Ponsalan, SSC TV of Korea, Jusilin Co Studio, Mami Rose Crop, Bon Anthony Balmoria, Diwa Koteko, Retro Blog, and Ping Bertopo. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay na manood at makinig sa devotional, but still, napunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig. sa devotion. God bless us all guys. So guys, kumusta yung Sabado natin? Yung mga sadyante, yung mga young people dyan, did we help our parents do the household chores? Sana naman, no? We'll help them. That's the only time, uh, thing na ikakatuwa ng ano natin, ng mga parents natin. Di lang yung sila yung lagi natatrabaho, lagi nakahanap buhay, no? Let's reward also our parents with what we can do to help them. Matutuwa na sila niya. Even God is so happy na makita niya yung tayo na, na tumutulo naman sa mga nangangailangan. O di ba? Mother, father, are you happy that your child is uh, helping you? <laughs> Sige, give me a thumbs up for that. No? I guess it's not proceed our devotional. Let's open our Bible to Matthew chapter 23 verses 39, uh, 29 to 39. Still, guys, I'm using the devotional study Bible because the words used is so simplified na maintindihan talaga natin. Okay, the word of the Lord in Matthew chapter 23 verses 29 to 39 says, Woe to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you blind tombs of the prophets, and they create the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our forefather, he would not have taken part with them in shedding, shedding the blood of the prophets. So you testify against yourself that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the mysteries of the sin of your forefathers. You snakes, you brood of vipers, how will you accept being condemned to hell? Therefore I am sending you prophets and wise men and teachers, some of them you will kill and crucify. Others you will flog in your synagogue and pursue from town to town. And so upon you will come all the righteous blood that has been shed on earth from the blood of righteous Abiel to the blood of Zechariah, son of Berechia, whom you murdered between the temple and the altar. I tell you the truth. All this will come upon this generation. O oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who killed the prophets and stoned those sent to you. How often I have longed to gather your children together, as a hen gathers her chick under her wings. But you were not willing. Look, your household is left to you, desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Amen and Amen. I guess let's now pray. Do it this again, O oh God. We still receive many rebukes because the truth is we are really sinners. Sometimes we conform to what others are doing, to what others are offering. That's why we are hiding ourselves with a, with a mask on our God. Looking right outside, but deep inside, it's not, O oh Lord God. That's why thank you, O oh God, for the rebuke again. 
Thank you for how you're going to lead us to us of forgiveness sa mga kasalanan na gawa namin, O God. Thank you, dear God, that you're so concerned on us because you love us so much. Yes, Lord, thank you that we can commit all sins to you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. I guess our focus verse for this evening is found in Matthew chapter 23, verses 37. Verse 37, it says, How often I have longed to gather you children together as a hen gather her chicks under her wings, but you were not willing. So the title of our devotion for this evening, guys, is How to Respond to the Messenger God Sent. Jesus rebuked the religious leaders as descendants of those who murdered the prophets. This sin is not on their shoulder. In the past, God sent prophets to warn the people of their sin. Instead of listening and obeying God, the people killed some of these messengers, crucified others, or beat them. They will be judged guilty for the actions and go to hell as stated in verse 33 to 36. In trying to kill Jesus, the religious leader shows that they are doing what their ancestors did to the prophets rather than believing in Jesus. They continue to shed righteous blood. This reminds us of how many times God sent people to share his word to us. We either reject his word or show no interest. Perhaps we think we're young and postpone following God's word until we get older. Woman oh, man, man tayo guilty, no? Lalong lalo na yung sa mga young people, no? Instead of serving God, they will just say, ah, mamaya na pag matanda na ako. What if hindi ka naabutan ng katandaan, di ba? Ito yung sinabi ko na many wants to serve God at 11th hour but they die. At 10.30. Okay. <clears throat> or we are busy or comfortable in life. Today is a day of salvation. Tomorrow, we may not have the opportunity to get right with God. Heed the call of God to know Him personally and turn away from sin. Jesus lament for Jerusalem, the nation of Israel. Many times, He wants to help them, but they were not willing in verse 37 he also feels sorry for those who won't allow him in their lives today we will come again to his people when they are finally ready to receive him in verse 39 amen yes guys no yun yung mga sinasabi ko lagi sa mga young people sa mga particular sa mga sudyante ko sa high school and even to graduates the useful response they have is ikaw lang sir ikaw lang mag-serve kay Lord in a way matanda ka na <laughs> yes I'm happy na I'm already at this age no I started serving God when I was uh, 16 years old and until now I'm still serving God it's so nice to serve God because we all have the privilege being with God no and I'm so happy I'm already old. At least nakaabot pa ako sa ganitong, ano, ganitong uh, edad, no? Di natin alam kung sino sa atin na yun, no? Makakaabot pa ba ng ganitong edad? Uh, I remember one time I was challenged by a student na, Ikaw, sir, ganyan. Sige, mag-serve ka kay Lord. Matanda ka na. <laughs> Ang sinabi ko, sige, have you been to a cemetery? Sabi niya, yes, sir. Uh, uh, did the cemetery ano, choose kung anong edad ang namamatay? Yun. <laughs> Quiet na lang siya doon kasi natamaan din sa it, no? Yes, serving God is not only for the old, but as much as possible for the young ones also. Guys, it's really nice to serve God, no? The expression in Visayan is, Tam is magalagad sa gino. Yes, and that's true, no? I've been serving God for many years already. And... I'm happy God gave me the favor I'm asking from Him. That is just a privilege na ginagawa ni Lord sa atin. No? How to respond to the messenger God sent. No? So we have to respect the gaya na mga uh, sinabi ni Lord na mga teachers and Pharisees are really hypocrite. Yan. Kahapon na-rebuke na yung mga taong ganyan, ngayon na-rebuke na, na naman niya na 
ganyan kasi the truth is we are really like that we are really like that kaya if we are still given a chance to live as much as possible today this evening is a day of salvation no salvation let's go back to god ask forgiveness and ask god to save us kasi malapit na talaga yung second coming ng lord di natin alam but in a twinkle of an eye god will really come back the soonest i guess let's not pray thank you lord for dying to save us from the penalty of sin thank you for cleansing us with your precious blood protect us our God. save us lord in jesus name we pray amen and amen yes guys no let's do let's be true to ourselves let's serve god let's ask forgiveness forgiveness first and then let's ask to serve god let's ask god to serve him tam is mangalagat sa gino god bless us all guys because i never sure bless us 10 times better this is again it's rich tv kita kita tayo muli at hanggang sa muli paalam